YouTubers! So we're back at it again with our favorites video and I know last month I kind of just did what are my favorite things to carry in my purse. This time it's kind of an all around favorites. So to jump right into the video, I'm going to start with... This month I seriously cannot live without a day drinking a medium iced caramel latte, no whip, extra caramel from Dunkin Donuts. Seriously, every day I have to have one of these. And if I'm not having one of these, it is not a good day. Then, if I'm not drinking this, my other favorite thing, if you guys haven't tried it, run to your nearest Starbucks and try it. Because the s'mores frappuccino, it is a game changer. I'm going to get serious right now. It is the best thing I have ever tasted in my life. I fell in love at first sip. I can't even tell you what I would do without a s'mores frappuccino. And the only reason I don't have a s'mores frappuccino every morning is because there's no Starbucks next to me where I live now. Like before, it was like five seconds away. Now it's just like I have to get on the highway for that. And because, you know, eventually caffeine does dehydrate you a smidgen. And um, I'm not really into drinking like a lot of water, which is a really, really bad thing. I use this crystal light liquid thing. It's, I always drink the lemonades. So I decided to try the Berry Sangria, which is the flavor of, like, the century. It is amazing. So you just squeeze it into your water, and it changes it completely. I'm obsessed. I've tried all the flavors, and this is actually my favorite one. So if you guys don't like drinking a lot of water, spice it up a little bit with this, and I swear you're going to be drinking water all day. I'm really, really into nudes and kinks because of course spring is here and because with this blue hair I kind of can't wear every lipstick shade that I want to because it kind of clashes with the hair and I look a little weird like it just doesn't work out I've tried and it just doesn't work so this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Lovely. I talked about this in my IMATS haul video and I mean like I've been wearing it almost every day since. I'm wearing it now. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. It's the perfect combination of pink and nude and it goes on so smooth and it stays all day so I wear I put it on for work and I really don't have to touch it up like ever. And it goes with my blue hair. So if you have colored hair and you can't find the perfect lipstick to go with your hair, this is amazing, it goes with everything, and it looks beautiful in any shade or any complexion, and yes, so invest in this, it's amazing. I kind of needed more blush, so I kind of went on a blush shopping spree, but this Kat Von D blush in the shade, poor Vita. Look at this, it is a beautiful pink pigment, I'm wearing it now, I just love it, it goes on so nicely, and I kind of just tried this because my friend insisted it should be good, it was the L'Oreal setting spray, I never understood the point to a setting spray, but after getting this one, I absolutely love it, I find that my makeup actually does stay longer because I was just against buying water to spray on my face after I did my makeup, but I like it. Like, I you usually use this when I'm going to work, and my makeup actually stays perfect all day long, and I really love this, so it's awesome. And it's a lot more cheaper than buying a bigger brand than Sephora. This one you can find at any drugstore for like $13, and it is awesome. Now, to take off your makeup, I always hate buying the makeup remover wipes, like the Neutrogena, because they leave so much residue on your face. Like, I don't like how it makes my face feel greasy and slimy after I take off my makeup and I don't like the smell of it. I usually use like baby wipes and sometimes that doesn't help take off the makeup. It's actually you gotta rub your face because it doesn't have makeup remover in it. But I tried these makeup remover from, this is actually the Target brand. I just tried it just to try it and it's actually awesome. It doesn't leave my face greasy. It doesn't have a horrible smell. I, it, I just feel clean afterwards. I don't feel like I need to keep washing my face. I can take off my makeup and if I just wanted to go to bed after that, I could. And there'll be no makeup on my pillows and I wouldn't feel like a slime ball. And it's awesome. So, and they're super cheap. I think this was like 2 or $3 for 30 of them. 
as opposed to paying eight dollars for like 20. so this is a really really great buy and i think everyone should try these the only thing I really have for hair is the dye that I use to dye my hair below. I actually use two different ones. It's the same brand Adore that I absolutely adore. And it is Aquamarine and Indigo Blue. So I kind of put the, aquam the Indigo Blue on top and the Aquamarine on the bottom. I did bleach my hair a little bit. And I really love these because it gives you a bright color and it stays forever. I love this brand. I've tried other dyes and I, I, I hate them. I always go back to the door. However, I feel like I'm in Hawaii and it smells absolutely amazing. It is a perfect coconut floral scent. It's not too, too coconut, it's not too floral. It's the perfect mixture and it makes you feel like spring and summer and it's just amazing. New favorite scent. Move over, sweet pea. You have totally been replaced. I'm totally obsessed. You guys probably seen me a hundred times with these on Instagram. These sunglasses. They are from Urban Outfitters and they are amazing. I mean like they're like Ray-Bans but not. I'm totally in love with this thing going on right there at the bridge. Because I'm like totally over buying like big brand sunglasses because I break them or lose them or they get scratched up with sand and stuff at the beach. So those are actually 20 bucks and they were actually like, it was a really, really good buy. So I love those. And also from Urban, I got this. Kind of <laughs> it looks so weird holding it up. But it's actually a holster. I kind of put it on like a book bag and that's it and it just gives you that extra touch to like your clothes if you don't want to wear big accessories or you just want to give your shirt or top or dress or whatever a little edge and make it look a little different just put something like this on and it is absolutely and again from urban i know i'm going to be talking about urban a lot because now i work there so everything will pretty much be from urban that i'm obsessed with clothes wise so these pants I'm obsessed with boyfriend jeans and they have all these great rips in them and they're just so comfortable and so trendy and I basically all my jeans have rips in them but it's just I don't know I'm just in love with these right now and now off to the things that I wish I didn't buy like this dry shampoo from Jula I usually like everything pretty much from Jula but I seriously brought this and in like a week, empty. And I didn't even use it that much. I can use the Herbal Essence one like over and over for like a month, like a little spray here and there. And it'll last me forever. A week? I feel like it just dried out. Like seriously, I sprayed it once and that was it. That was everything. Like I, there's not enough in here for me to actually review it. Cause it just, like, I did try another dye, actually tried three, because I kind of wanted to do a mixture of colors. These dyes suck. It is beyond the zoom, color jam two. Not so shy violet, which is very shy because it never showed up in my hair. Huckleberry blue, and what are you? Tripped up turquoise whatever it it's just like it didn't dry I swear I don't know if I got like old dye or something it was very it wasn't liquidy like the adore one is it was a little thicker curvy one give it a thumbs up if you like my fave and not fave monthly videos and let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products and you have a different review or if there's any products you guys would like me to try and i'll see you guys in a future video love ya